In a democracy, the legislature is the most vital arm of government. Not only does effective representation distinguish a democratic government from other systems, it provides the platform for popular participation, a bottoms-up approach to agenda setting and grassroots accountability, from which democracy ends the bragging rights as government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And on that note, I welcome you to Know Your Representative, the program that bridges the visible gap between lawmakers and their constituents. I am Maria Olashendi, but first let's meet my guest, Senator Ibrahim Shekarao, representing Kano Central Senatorial District. His Excellency Malam Ibrahim Shekarao is a senator representing Kano Central Senatorial District in the Red Chambers of the National Assembly. Born on November 5, 1955 in the Kumara Quarters in Kano State, he was brought up on a solid Islamic education that transformed the young Ibrahim into a true servant of God and honesty. In January 1961, he began his primary education at the Gidan Makama Primary School, Kano City and completed it in December 1967, where he obtained his West African School Certificate as well as the Royal Society of Arts London Certificate after he had attended the Aminu Kano Commercial College from January 1968 to December 1972. Shekarao later obtained a Bachelor's Degree Certificate in Mathematics and Education from the prestigious Amadou Bilou University Zaria from 1973 to 1977 and a certificate in guidance and counseling from the Bayero University in Kano in 1976. In August 1977, he was enlisted for the mandatory National Youth Service Corps scheme and taught mathematics at Madonna Boys High School, a Catholic institution in the former Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. On October 2, 2001, he retired from the service of the Kano State Civil Service after 24 years of meritorious service. His belief in indissolubility of the Nigerian project is unshaken. And as the then executive governor of a powerful and rich state, who after serving 24 meritorious years in capacities offering chances for self-enrichment, lived in a rented house and moved into government house from there unrepentantly devoted to improve the welfare of the people and moved Kano State to the next level in development. Shekarao is a living legend, is life a song of praise to Almighty Allah. It is therefore no surprise that Mala made history as the first chief executive to win a second term from Kano voters, in the process breaking the jinx that no governor can rule Nigeria's most popular state twice. Malam achieved this groundbreaking record against all odds, and the feat has not escaped the attention of national and international analysis. After his successful tenure as a two-time executive governor of Kano State, Malam was appointed Honorable Minister of Education by President Goodluck Jonathan in July 2014. He brought his wealth of experience as a seasoned educationist to bear in a highly volatile sector which enjoyed unprecedented stability and industrial peace during his tenure. In 2019, His Excellency was elected in the 9th National Assembly as a senator representing Kano Central constituency. On being sworn in on June 11, 2019, and in recognition of a sterling wealth of public service experience, he was appointed Chairman Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Affairs. Malam proudly holds three traditional titles from the southeast of Nigeria, including Onye Diohamma of Isiala Ungwa South Local Government, Akadi Keuku of Umwahia Local Government, and Wane Dinamba of Igbo Land. Senator Ibrahim Shekarawa has had several honors and awards bestowed on him for his hard work, integrity, and commitment to improve the Nigerian society through good work, transparent governance in Kano State. Special Gold Medal Award for Excellence and Good Governance and the Best Performing Northern Governor in Labor 2007-2008, Best Governor in Rural Healthcare Delivery, Award of Excellence of the Best Performing Governor in the North and Award of Excellence in Governance and Defender of Nigerians Democracy Award. Senator Ibrahim Shekarao is a proud member of the All Progressives Congress and is happily married with children and grandchildren. And therefore, Mr. President, establishing 
a federal college of education will give us additional institution to produce more trained and qualified teachers, which invariably will mean developing our educational system. The teacher is the only thing that you cannot improvise in the educational system. If you have a school, you can easily have all the billions of Naira you have, you need to construct the school, furnish it, ask parents to bring the children. If the teachers are not there, you are only having a refugee camp, Mr. President. I therefore support this bill to establish a Federal College of Education in Goza. Recently, distinguished Senator Ibrahim Shekarao, the senator representing Kanu Central and the Red Chambers, in his usual style of rendering transparent and accountable stewardship, regularly updates constituency members with his activities. A man who supports bees and normals, the Sadauna Kanu laid a progressive legislative agenda and stewardship reports, which have shaped talking points even beyond Kanu Central. For his constituents, the excitement goes beyond the 10 notable constituency projects and empowerment programs which Malam attracted to Kano Central. It is about the big ideas behind them. Some two years ago, for any patients that come to the hospital and uh, patient relations and other visitors, they must have seen the very deplorable condition of our roads. You know, in the hospital premises. And uh, of course, uh, this has caused a lot of problems. But uh, today, uh, anybody can come and see what we have available uh, with the help of God and with the help of Senator Mali Ibrahim Shekaro, the Senator Kano Central, were able to get all these roads repaired. And uh, people have been very happy about it. Uh, the work was done uh, as part of a constituency project which was carried out in the, the year 2019. And uh, it's a road of our 1.3 kilometers, you know. Uh, and we are very happy with this thing. And people have been praying for the senator that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to ride him abundantly for the efforts he is making to serve humanity. Alhamdulillah. Muna ya bo ga Allah da Allah ya kawo wannan aiki da mai girma sardaunan Kano bale bayan shekaru abinda muke tsoma yi wajen sama da shekara 15 abinda bamu same shi ba sai gashi yanzu Allah ya kawo mai girma sardaunan Kano bale Ibrahim shekaru ya zo ya mana yana yi mana wannan aikin titi to alhamdulillah gashi an soma aiki aiki yana kyau yanda ya kamata kuma na farko da man nan gari ne zamu ce na Mala Ibrahim shekaru Mala Ibrahim shekaru nan ga ko kwalta ce ga ta yan tunda kana hakkon ku ta dama ya taba mana wata kwalta wajen sama da kilomita 10 to kuma ga shi ya sake ji wannan wata sama da kilomita 4 ko 5 ma wace insha Allah da bi mu ne ma godiya muna kuma Allah ya saka mu da alkhairi Allah kuma ya kara madaukaka to alhamdulillah mun gode mun gode Allah ya saka mu da alkhairi Allah ya saka mu da alkhairi Allah ya sa ya fi haka Allah ya sa ya fi ka na barka ya rasulullah ma sha Allah muna matakar farin ciki da wannan aiki da Sardaunan Kano ya kawo wannan makaranta na class guda biyu da kuma aji guda daya muna matakar farin ciki da godiya da Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kuma muna kada kira ga ragowar yan siyasa da su dinga irin wannan abubuwan da sardauna yayi domin cigaban al'ummar yankunan su the distinguished senator spoke passionately about human development and social justice as his guiding principles in the National Assembly. From the onset, his priority is human capital development, which is seized as the foundation of other developments. Being familiar with the challenges of his constituency, 
Malam Ibrahim Shekarao appreciates that investments in the educational and health sectors are lifelong investments that can potentially impact the lives of the people in the long term. The Sadaunan Kano said his immediate priority in his constituency is to improve the education sector because it is the bedrock of development. Therefore, he used the available fund allocated as constituency projects to provide some projects at primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions in the zone. With self-satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment, the distinguished senator inspected ongoing projects comprising classrooms, offices, furniture, and stores constructed and provided within the 15 local government areas of Kano Central through the auspices of the Universal Basic Education. Some of the projects include a block of three classrooms with office, store, and furniture at Malami Bram Shekarao Science Primary School. All the schools are across this constituency. A block of two classrooms with office, store, and furniture at Sani Meangua Science Primary School in Tarauni and Dala local governments, respectively. There's a block of two classrooms at Gerindao Central Primary School in Warawa local government area. A block of two classrooms at Sabongeri Primary Schools in Madobi local government. And another block of two classrooms with an office furniture and store at Kwali Primary School in Kano Municipal local government area. Others include a block of two classrooms with office and store at Zogarawa Primary School in Dawankin Kudu. Another block of two classrooms with office and store in Dumaji Primary School in Gerin Malam local government area, amongst others. The distinguished senator used the occasion to announce his plans to construct an ultra-modern pharmacy at the Malam Aminu Kano Teaching Hospital as part of 2021 constituency project. He also inspected the completed first phase of a long road network initiated to improve access into and through the tertiary health institution. The senator further assured that the six-member technical committee, which is set up comprising of professionals, will monitor the project to ensure they are up to standard and compliant with specifications within the required bill of quantity. Soon after assumption into office as a senator, Malam Ibrahim Shekarao influenced the empowerment of 4,000 petty business owners from Kano Central with 10,000 naira from a 40 million naira facility sourced from the National Directorate of Employment, NDE, and the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency, SMEDAM. Residents of a central district have described Senator Ibrahim Shekarao as not your ordinary politician because he knows the problems of the people of the Kano Central, central District and he has earned their trust long ago. Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, the program is to know your representative and I have here with me the lawmaker representing Kano Central Central District, Senator Ibrahim Shekarao. He's also the chairman Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Services. Distinguished, you're welcome to your representative. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's pleasure. start this way. Let me take your mind down the memory lane. What was growing up like compared to what we have now? I think as we grow and expand, and the challenges are changing. Even up to the 70s, when I finished primary school, early secondary school, early 70s, I had universities to choose, to go to. Uh, but today, uh, the, the number of uh, the primary and secondary school graduates who want to go to university, we hardly even have space for up to 30% of them. Good, the same thing like employment. Uh, as a student in the commercial school, uh, as I was writing my YA, I had about three or four offers of employment in the private sector, banks, companies, the government. But today, people with PhDs mm. are running around with applications Application. for employment. All right, so talking about education, let's talk about, let's look at education in your central districts. What and what have you done to ensure that there is quality education? There are two things that one has to always consider in education. While you talk of quality, you also talk about the quantity. Mm. Uh, the two must go together. One of the number one projects I did last year, which was one of my first uh, budgetary provision, that's 2020, I included in my own proposed budget for my constituency 80% of it was construction of classrooms 
and furniture into the classroom. Because as an educationist, I know the role of environment, uh, good environment, learning environment, it parts of what improves the quality. When I was teaching, uh, I teach mathematics okay, as my field, uh, the maximum you can... I still very good in mathematics with it. <laughs> Like when your grandchild brings the simple arithmetic. No, 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 no. I, I used to I, 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 so, sometimes I sit with them and I try to recall because you have to go back, back to their level. Sometimes you have to read mm. and see the examples to remind yourself because you are too far too away far. detached. And uh, new things have changed. Mm, that's true. I concentrated on education because I know it is the greatest weapon uh, you can use to improve, to bring any change, positive change. It's the greatest vehicle of a change. Okay. So now let's look at girl-child education. You're from a, the part of the country where it seems that um, the girl-child the girl education is backward. For me, that's what I think, but you can correct me, sir. So what are you doing to improve the level of education for the girl-child? Let me just go back a little so that you can see where I'm coming from. Right from the day I was sworn in, if I write from the swearing in uh, podium on 29th May 2003, having been in the sector and having known the challenges there, I declared free education for girls at all levels. Throughout my eight years, no female student paid one dime for school fees, primary, secondary, tertiary, I said, even if you get admission in the moon, mm. if you like, so long as it is a recognized institution, we give you scholarship. I declared free scholarship for all girls. And within the first two, three years, the intake and the attendance of girls to school uh, increased by about 60%. Mm. And because my argument has always been, uh, which is uh, the normal thing in every society, the woman is the first school of the child. Mm. If you get the women educated soundly, you are addressing the matter right from the beginning uh, so that they will raise children that are better enlightened, better educated. They will encourage them to go to school. I felt that was the beginning of better society. My first project in 2020 was I identified 10 adults in every ward. I have 172 wards okay. in that small way. I identified 10. I asked the community leaders to give me 10 responsible uh, leaders of the households who have small businesses whose capital is no more than 5,000 maximum and we empowered them with about 20,000. Okay. Uh, a woman that sells uh, Accra, uh, the course she does with uh, just about 2,000. If you give her 20, she already has to be, be an employer of labor. She has to increase, increase the facilities. She has to employ some few other hands to help her do it. So she's automatically improving and they will be able to handle the child. The child will feed mm. at home. And we did that across. In fact, we spent about, uh, I think, uh, I, through the SMEDIN program, through the NDE, I was able to uh, put in some funds there. And we spent about 14 million. Uh, we touched uh, close to 5,000 lives nice. of the adults. Mm. Not even before you even talk of the youth. The youth. Exactly. Uh, so addressing the parents. A par key. Exactly. A parent that has a capital of about 20,000 uh, that uh, generates, even if it is 1,000 every day or 500, at least you'll be able to feed the family. And there will be peace. Mm -hmm. And through that, you, they will be able to control the child, come back home and eat. Uh, and he had, he, if he knows there is food in the house, he wouldn't have to go and start... Uh, Constituting uh, exactly, exactly. Okay, Excellence, let's look at um, infrastructure, roads. 
What and what have you done concerning roads in your constituency? My first road works was uh, within the uh, teaching hospital in Kano. I mean, the Kano Teaching Hospital. So we did, uh, I think, about uh, 2.5 kilometer walk within, within the teaching hospital in Kano. I got another 1.5 kilometer road uh, project under the Federal Ministry of Works. We found one uh, access road within Madwebi local government, and we found that that was the most needy area. You know, they do a lot of farming in that area, and they find it difficult to bring in their their goods and their products onto the market. So we awarded that. In fact, that one is currently ongoing. Uh, it's 1.5 kilometers, and it's, 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 it's high standard asphalt road, it's not just the usual feeder road of stones and sand and so on. Fully built road is going to be done. Some of the people will say they are hungry. Yeah. I've seen the senator who said he went, to, just like you said, he met his people, what are your needs? And he said they don't even want roads, they don't want schools, but they want to eat. And if they're going to eat, that means they're going to give them money. So now let's talk about allocation. Is there any place in the budget where there's an allocation given to you as a lawmaker that financially take and give to your people? No, there's nothing like that, honestly. Usually what happens in the National Assembly, a specific figure is given to every legislator. It's not based on the number of projects you bring. Let's say, for example, every senator is given 200 million. Bring a project or project worth 200 million from your constituency. So it's left to you now to go and do your assessment. Out of the 200 million, how much uh, will you take to construction of either classroom or school or ball hall or health center and so on and so forth? So that means each, each um, senator gets the same amount same. of... See, allocation. See. That's why we have some people saying their constituencies are bigger than other people's constituencies uh, and they are getting the uh, same uh, allocation. Exactly. It's, for example, now I have 50 local governments. Mm. Who's all do you respect? A senator from Bayelsa has two local has governments two local, or three. The same. There is need for what, uh, some level of uh, 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 proportional allocation. Finally, on the segment, we normally speak in your local dialects. You know, when you go to your constituency, you don't speak in English, you interact with them in Hausa. Aha. Did the day we are a cheap tashi air upon a local cheap cow that are the core, a munkao, Ginegina, a jujua, the Kujuru, the Tigra, and Makaran too, some primary, Makaran too primary, a bull in a shin in which a mumba daughter would be more and car of Dunkas, a hurricane killing me. Musamia, I used to move current at any some car in a jujua, Kujuru. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Musia Velebia, Musa Moan, Utuluna, the Kitcha of Solar Light, Masaiki, the Askelana, would ask it to Mingi Pasu, or would I do us and came a current two was and close a majority was and came a current two is Lamia. Then a team of councils and Husky, the Sugarada, the Yukos. We are not a question of who won the Mukata for Karen Samarwa, the Kuma Gabatawa, or in the Mazama Tamu. Come to Sakia and Kalano Kumuni would have more shabby. Patam machine in Tanya Sukala, the Hakuri, the Kumusakala Bamu had in Kate. They were a cow, a keg, a coa, the coa. A mother of Mumbakata Shini, a Yuko Karen, Samo, Mutani, Sonki, Chikim, and Amra. That was to go to Kumabada had in Kate. Gomutuchi, Niger had in Italia, that she got some of the time you have in the day and Panisu, then some of the electric shower, inshallah. Mungo Desa. So I've been speaking with Malam Ibrahim Shekararo, the lawmaker representing Kansas Central Central District at the Red Chambers. Thank you, distinguished, for coming on the representative. Thank you very much. And that's our package for today. Join us same time next week as I bring together that lawmaker who has impacted positively in the lives of his constituents at the grassroots level. For missed episodes, you can watch on our YouTube page, Mabay TV. Many thanks for watching. I am Maria Olashende. Stay safe.